Pleasant good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am David Squeeze just setting up our show here for Cruising with the Case Handler. I um, just want to say TGIF to each and every one, and thank you so much for tuning in um, this beautiful day that God has given us. We have a lot coming up on the show, Cruising with the Case Handler, which happens to be a show I do with Adam Handler, an attorney from the law firm Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. We're going to be discussing personal injury. We're going to be discussing immigration and um, uh, just asking each and every one right now to actually, you know, uh, share share what it is that you're actually uh, watching right now, ladies and gentlemen, um, with your friends, and we're going to get this going. So once again, thanks to each and every one, okay, for tuning in, and um, a lot of people who are actually watching 93.5 FM right now. Thanks a lot also for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So we're here and um, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. Um, uh, those people who are watching me on Facebook, uh, uh, please do not comment about my beard. I need a shave. We got the grays going, got the hat going on. I need a haircut and all of that stuff, you know. But I, David Squeeze Anarchy, will sooner or later be able to find my barber and have my barber come through and uh, give me a solid haircut. So I'm home, I'm doing the show via Zoom. I think um, something that everybody now knows about. Thank God I bought stocks in that company when we started using Zoom, how many years ago? So investment, investments in this era. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let's just wrap things up. I want everybody on Facebook right now to actually start sharing the page you're watching. So share the page on your timeline, ladies and gentlemen, see what's going on, all right? We are about to start up the immigration segment of the show. We're about to start up the personal injury segment of the show. I've got three attorneys that I'm working with today, respectively, like I noted, Adam Handler, okay? The personal injury attorney who has settled well over $100 million. I've got Conrad Pollock, a managing partner at the law firm Paula Pollock, Isaac, and Seco. We've got Nelson Madrid, okay? Also another um, partner at the firm Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and Seco. We call the show Cruising with a Case Handler. It happens each and every single weekday morning right here at 8.30. This morning, I decided to get a very early start because we need to get more immigration questions answered. We need to get more feedback from um, the personal injury attorney, Adam Handler. So it's a gamut of attorneys with a gamut of capacities if you ever need an attorney, you only need to make one call, ladies and gentlemen, and that is to, of course, the case handler team. The number to call is 844-774-3529. Now, what I wanted to jump on and say, as you share this page with everybody, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go to my Facebook page and share right now. So once again, if you're watching this, please share on Facebook. If you're listening to us on the radio, Go to my Facebook page, listen carefully. It's David Squeeze Anarchy. That's D A V I D S Q U E E Z E A N N A K I E. Or you can go to the Case Handler page, ladies and gentlemen. When you go to the Case Handler page, you can actually uh, just um, check it out there also. We got a lot of people watching, and I do appreciate that. But anyone who knows of someone who needs to get their immigration questions answered, now is the time to actually call them and let them know that we are on. We have the attorneys, they're ready to answer your questions, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting things started early, but right now, if you have immigration question, start calling 844-774-3529. If you know of someone who got hurt in an accident, okay, tell them to call Adam Handler, the case handler, 844-774-3529. If you wanna ask your questions on Facebook, feel free, jump on my page, David Squeeze Attic's page or the case handler page and place your questions there. Ladies and gentlemen, we decided to do a bit of an extended early start on 93.5 WVIP FM. And everyone that's actually listening to the station right now, call somebody, tell them, Squeeze has immigration attorneys on. Squeeze got the personal injury attorneys on. And I'm talking about a man that I've worked with, Adam Handler, for well over 15 years, and I've known him for that long, and he has been practicing for 17 solid years. So. All 93.5 FM listeners, you don't need to go anywhere. And I know you're probably hearing other attorneys here or there. If the number, ladies and gentlemen, is that 844-PPID-LAW, that's the wrong one, all right? I, I'm telling you that. That's the wrong one, all right? I can only vouch for um, the, the, the attorney that I've worked with, 
for well over 15 years. So I'm saying to you, reach out to 844-774-3529. Once again, I am David Squeezanicki here, jumping things off early and rightfully so. Um, to be honest with you, we genuinely don't have enough time to talk about what we want to talk about every day. You know, Adam and I, we thought, yeah, all right, no problem. 30 minutes will be enough. No, <laughs> for the show. The show actually goes an additional 30 minutes um, in continuum on Facebook. So ladies and gentlemen, right now, jump on Facebook. David Squeeze Anarchy's Facebook page, the Case Handlers page. And we're asking you, please share, 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 share it on your timeline, like what I'm doing. I'm going to my timeline right now and I'm actually going to go post. I'm going to ask Adam. I see he has opt on. Conrad's been on for a while also, but haven't been able to get a word out of him. Okay, he's mm -hmm. drinking his tea. All right. But um, uh, um, Adam, if you can just go on your Facebook page uh, or, you know, go on your, your page, your fan page, the Case Handler page, and copy that link or do a share and share it on your timeline. That would be great. I just did on my timeline. And remember to put the, the, the caption cruising. Okay. This is what it is, folks. Cruising with the, okay, 93.5 FM listeners. You must be saying, what is going on? Yeah, we're live video wise and everything. Cruising with the Case Handler. And I'm putting personal injury. I'm putting immigration and immigration. Okay, and I'm putting a number 844-774-3529. And I'm also asking dot, 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 please share. Okay, thanks. Okay, dot, dot, share dot, 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 thanks in advance. Gotta be polite, you know? All right, so we're asking you that, you know, so thank you so much. So I just shared on my personal timeline. Now, you know, I, you know what? I'm going to share again. Now, now I'm going to go back, okay, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to share this on my story. See, you see, this th this is something that a lot of people always forget, you know. And I've been I've been, you know, teaching Adam, you know, a, a few things here. You know, you you you've got to share. You share on your timeline. That's one thing. So everybody who goes to your page will see it. However, if you share on your story. Everyone sees it and they see it immediately. So it's extremely important that you share on your Facebook page and your timelines and your groups. It's very important that you share in your story. All right. So everyone sees it. And, and that's for Facebook. It, it's also important that you do that for IG. It's very important that you do that. You share in your feed and then you share your story. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, how about this? Before I bring in Adam, let me take 60 seconds. I've got something for everyone tuning and seeing that you've been sharing the page right now, David Squeeze Anakin's page. I, I got something for everybody. I'm going to allow you to call all your friends and everybody you know, okay, that need immigration help and ensure that you and them get 100% free consultations directly, privately with an attorney. And we're talking about attorneys with well over a decade of of experience dealing with immigration, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do for you. So everybody that's tuning into 93.5 WVIP, every one of you that's viewing us on Facebook, David Squeeze Adeke, the businessman, the entrepreneur, the serial crazy entrepreneur is extending to you a 100% free immigration consultation with attorneys. But you've got to call now. I'm doing that for everybody. Call this number now. Find out if I'm lying. Check, check me, all right? Dial this number, okay? Get your name down for a free consultation for today, for next week, for next month. But you got to get your name in the system with them, okay, for a free consultation. Here it is, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Nine. Make the call, 844-774-3529. Everybody, test me. If you call this firm, okay, if you call the case handler team, if you call right now and you do not get a 100% free consultation and I'm putting my neck on the block here, I'll never get back on radio. I'll stop broadcasting. I'll shut down my business. If you do not get a 100% free immigration consultation, U.S. immigration consultation, all right? Doesn't matter where you are, 
we're, 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 we're focusing on people in the tri-state area, but they can help people from all over the world, as long as it has to do with U.S. immigration. If you call and you don't get that immigration consultation with attorneys, okay, with a firm that's been around for 50 years plus, and each attorney has well over a decade of experience, if you do not get that, I'll stop doing this. And this is me, David Adeke, who has been on this station for well over 20 years. I'll stop doing this. Call them now for that consultation. It's 844-774-3529. It's a Friday. It's, a, it's 29 minutes before the hour of nine. This is not a joke. This is very serious. I know I've got a lot of my immigrant friends out there, a lot of people who are out of status. It doesn't matter if you're Latino. It doesn't, doesn't matter if you're Black, you're white, you're Asian, whatever you are. Call my friends at the law firm right now, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. Call the case handler team because you heard it right here on Cruising with a Case Handler. Free, free, free consultation. The number, 844 774 3529. Let me be slow. 844 774 3529. You want to ask your questions now online? Feel free to do so by simply, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, actually just typing that on the screen right now. Adam Handler, Conrad Pollock, welcome to Cruising with the Case Handler. Nelson Madrid, I see you're also there. Welcome to Cruising with the Case Handler. It's a Friday. We're jumping into things. Adam, you're good? I good. <clears throat> you did all the work for us. I, I can just stop right now. The okay. weekend's already started for me. What, what, That's what, what it's all about. What more could we possibly say than what you just said for the past uh, however many minutes? Appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Um, that's Adam Handler, folks, our personal injury attorney that has settled well over $100 million over the past 15 years. So, Adam, you know, I, I, I decided to rev up things. By the way, Nelson, man, you should share your tea, you know. I see Conrad's been bouncing around drinking his tea. I've been watching his beautiful bookcase there. But, um, Adam, let's jump right into it, man. Let's talk personal injury as we await the calls and we await the text and we await people placing their immigration questions on. Right now, for the next few minutes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be talking about personal injury. For those people who would like to get the immigration questions answered, get your questions um, ready, and you can start calling 844-774-3529, or you can place them on my Facebook page, David Squeeze Adeke, or text them to my number, 212-380-7772, or put them on Adam's page, the case handler. Let's talk personal injury. We're compartmentalizing. We're segmenting this show. So let's talk personal injury. Adam, you have settled well over $100 million. I love touting that. Talk to me. Oh, listen, it's it's well over $100 million, but it's, you know, lately I'm, I'm most proud of my team for doing it under the circumstances that we're under. You know, we're mm -hmm. all working from home right now. Uh, next week will mark, for me, the sixth week that I've been working for my home office, uh, working away from my team, uh, away from the courts, away from my no normal work environment and doing it here while I have kids being homeschooled right, right down the hall. Uh, but we're doing some amazing things and it just shows you the dedication and the commitment we have to getting it right the first time for our clients. And I'm just looking through these numbers and I'm just going to, I'm just going to roll down. I mean, since the pandemic hit, mm -hmm. uh, 47,500, a hundred thousand, hundred thousand, 2.5 million, 20,000, 25,000, 10,000, 197,500, 622,500, 152,500, 72,500, 60,000, 470,000, 100,000, 225,000, and yesterday, 99,000. Uh, we are hotter than ever. We've already- The case Adler. <laughs> listen, we do it. I mean, we were already past 10 million for the year. Uh, and, and this is not an easy year uh, to get things done uh, in any legal situation, let alone no. personal injury when the courts are closed, let alone when I don't have the ability to say to these guys, which one of you clowns is paying me? Because if you don't pay me, we're going to pick a jury next week. Jury trials right now are suspended. So these cases have been worked up the right way for several years now. Uh, most of these things were already set in motion to settle around this time. And the fact that they are settling uh, just shows that we're not just, you know, good lawyers prepping cases that, but we're also deal closers, you know, ABC, always be closing. Our clients can't wait for the pandemic to be over to get compensation for their medical bills or time out of work and, and for their injury. And I'm looking at these numbers and, and they're staggering. 
we're, we're really, really knocking it out of the park for case center clients. And that's a commitment we have because we are relentless making sure that these things are taken care of uh, regardless uh, of the exterior forces that are preventing it from happening. And yesterday was a great, I love the 99,000. It was a case against Geico, $100,000 policy. And the adjuster said to me, listen, you and I both know that if, if we don't do a deal, your client could be you know, six months or a year away um, from something. What, what can you save me on the policy? I need you to save me 20 grand. I said, I'm not taking 80 grand. Um, I'll save you a thousand dollars. I haven't settled the case for $99,000 in a long time. And I called my client up who uh, is a big, uh, big to do up there in the Bronx. I'm not going to use his name, but you know, pretty well connected uh, within the community and, and trust me, obviously, to do a good job for him. And I said, you got 99 problems, but your case ain't one. And uh, it was really, really a great way to finish this week. And we're not done yet. Let's see what we can do today. But the point I'm trying to make is we're open for business. We're killing it. We're doing everything we can to absolutely making sure that our clients are not the victims twice. Because every one of those settlement numbers I just mentioned, those clients had one chance to get it right. One chance, one choice. They came to the case handler and look what we did. Now, why is it so important, Adam? As we speak on personal injury coming up shortly, we will be speaking on immigration with attorneys Conrad Pollock and Nelson Madrid, respectively nicknamed the maestro and Maverick. Why is it so important for our immigrant community here, the Caribbean community and other immigrant communities to choose you, the case handler? Why is it important for them when they get hurt in an accident and they don't get to actually, you know, uh, reach out to anyone. Why is it important for them not to take someone's business card that comes up to them and say, "Hey, I can get you a, a, a few thousand dollars. I can get you a lot of money." Why is it? Why is it important for, for them not to take an attorney that runs up to them? Why is it important for them not to just take a recommendation from a family member? Say, "Why don't you call John down the block on Gunnell Road, or you know, uh, you know, Jake over on Eastern Parkway?" Why is it important for them to come to you, Adam Handler? I know, but I want for everyone tuning in to 93.5 FM now, okay? Regardless if they're listening between 6 and 9, between 9 and 12 today, between 12 noon today and 8 p.m. tonight, no matter what time. Why is it important, Adam Handler, Case Handler, that they come to you when they get hurt in an accident, even a construction accident or medical malpractice? Absolutely. It's an easy question to answer. Um, first of all, if anybody's coming up to you at the scene of the accident or in the emergency room and saying you should go with this lawyer, uh, you already know you're screwed because the laws of New York and New Jersey say it's unethical for an attorney to solicit you at the scene of the accident or in the hospital to use them. And if that's the kind of attorney you want, if you already want to get started with an attorney that's already breaking the rules of ethics, what do you think they're going to do with your case? If they're unethical uh, to the system, do you think they're going to be ethical to the clients? Th those guys are absolute con artists. And I will say it out here on the radio and public. Those attorneys should be disbarred. They should not be allowed to practice law in any of these states because they're breaking the rules from the very inception of the case. They're also pretty desperate. I never have to do that because my reputation stands for itself. PPID's reputation stands for itself. We don't have to go out there soliciting clients. The clients will come to us because they come to us based on our reputation. And although we can never guarantee a successful result, we've been doing amazing things in the past and people know that. The word is out. I mean, listen, you got one chance. We say it all the time and I'll never guarantee anything. But I will guarantee you that nobody, nobody, nobody is going to fight harder for you than your boy, the case handler, if God forbid you're in a situation. And that includes uh, Aunt Nellie's friend down the street uh, who got hurt and, and went with a different lawyer. You got one chance to get it right. One chance, one choice, your case handler. That is it. Facts. Facts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a beautiful day. We're energized. Okay. I'm, I'm, this morning, I'm not drinking the bowl. I'm drinking Vita Coco, all right? That's what I'm drinking. But right now, what I need for you to do, you've heard it. Now, right now, ladies and gentlemen, no. You are not necessarily in an accident now or will get into one now. But 
What I want for you to do, okay, and we're inviting you to do, is to actually dial the number and store the number in your phone. Store the number in your smart devices. Uh, devices, um, And also text the number to someone and say, you know what? I'm listening to Squeeze and these attorneys on the radio. I think we should keep the number. God forbid, you know, we know of anyone who gets hurt. So right now, here's the number. Dial it. Please let it ring 15 seconds at least. All right. So we know you are truly storing the number. We care about you. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Three five two nine. That's eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Ninety three point five FM listeners, Facebook viewers and listeners, social media listeners, people who are just watching this now after the fact, store the number of a solid personal injury attorney who has well over seventeen years of experience practicing, settled well over one hundred million dollars have advocated for the Caribbean community and other communities, store the number 844-774-3529. Dial it, let it ring. He will actually even pick up the phone and even say hi to you right now. Say hi to him. 844-774-3529. Ask him how sheltering in place is coming along. All right. I have two other gentlemen here, um, Adam Handler. Okay. And th thank you so much for speaking on personal injury. But I've got two other gentlemen here who um, is, um, what's the term that is that uh, Conrad used yesterday? Biting at the Trump or whatever that he used. Chomping at the bit? Chomping at the bit, chomping at the bit. Okay, to get on and speak. Okay, I can see the anxiety in Nelson's face. I can see the anxiety in Conrad's face. He's like, oh, let me reach out and just triangle at him so I can get off. I think they're loving the show. Um, they, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell after a week and a day, they love immigration. It's like in their blood. It's in their veins. They love it. When they open their mouth, you can see it in their face. You can feel it in their, in their tone. These guys live, eat, breathe immigration law, and they love helping people. So without further ado, let me introduce the immigration segment right here on Cruise with the Case Handler with, of course, our managing partner at the firm, and that's Conrad Pollock. He's actually in the trenches with his team, with the other attorneys, with everyone. And remember, it's a full service law firm. So he's, he's even actually, you know, managing the other departments with you. His focus is immigration. So ladies and gentlemen, Conrad Pollock and Nelson Madrid. Conrad, how you doing? I'm good, Squeeze. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I see you were first to get on the uh, Zoom here. Um, I'm watching you back and forth, Ada. I'm in a new location this morning and um, I'm, I'm on the move. But also late night, was, last night was a late night. I'm, uh, I'm a big football NFL fan and uh, so big uh, San Francisco 49ers fan and I was up late last night watching the draft and so been a little slow moving this morning so yeah, but I'm good. here I'm here I and I'm ready it. to answer everybody's questions and provide whatever information people need and um, one thing that I do want to mention that I've been wanting to I've been waiting all, all, all day yesterday and, and into this morning to discuss uh, we've been getting a lot of calls about uh, the presidential proclamation that uh, Trump issued the uh, day before yesterday. And um, I just, I, the questions seem to be, uh, people are just confused. You know, can I bring my mom in? Can I continue with my, my son's case? Uh, can I get my parents in? Um, uh, the short answer is the ban is relatively minor in, in terms of the number of people that it affects. Uh, if you're a U.S. citizen, and you're applying for your, your, your wife or your husband, or you're applying for your kids who happen to be outside the country still, uh, you can continue to do that case. Now, granted, the American consulates are all closed currently, but once they reopen, those cases can proceed. Um, so there is no reason to delay, and no reason to fret uh, or be concerned that those cases won't continue, that your family won't be able to come in. One of the restricted categories are parents. Uh, you can no longer bring your parents in, at least for the next 60 days. There is a ban on that category. That's uh, been something that the Trump administration has been trying to accomplish uh, by other methods for the last three and a half years. And now they got their wish, at least for the next 60 days. Um, also, uh, if, you have, if you have a tourist visa, if you have a student visa, if you have any other kind of work visa, you can still come to the United States. Uh, there is no ban. Uh, again, the consulates are closed. So if you're applying for a new visa, you're going to have to wait until the post opens. But there is no reason that you can't enter the United States with the current visa that you have. 
Um, other than that, if you have a green card, those are where the restrictions come in. If you have a green card, you could come in. That's not a problem. But if you're applying for your relatives, if you're applying for your wife, if you're applying for your children, um, residents can't apply for their parents, so that's not an issue. If you're applying for your siblings, those are uh, categories that are restricted. Um, so basically, um, if you're a U.S. citizen, you have nothing to be concerned about. You can still bring your spouse. You can still bring your kids. Permanent residents, those with green cards, they're going to be subject to the 60-day ban. So, But otherwise, tourist visas, student visas, you can continue to come to the United States. In fact, um, if you have a tourist visa, um, and uh, hypothetical, I, I was thinking of ways around this thing, um, around the ban. If you are a US citizen in the country and you have parents outside the United States, granted, you cannot apply for them to get the green cards outside the US. However, if they have tourist visas, they can come to the United States, spend a couple of months here, and then if they decide they wanna stay, that US citizen can apply for his parents since they're here. They're not subject to the ban if they're here. They're only subject if they're not here. So we're all thinking of ways to uh, help our clients get through these difficult times. And that's one way that already we had a client yesterday that called that we were able to solve that problem. So um, ready for your questions if you have any. Absolutely. And um, Nelson Madrid, welcome to the show. While I read Good morning. Uh, Conrad's um, name to Conrad's, not Conrad's iPad, but to Conrad's yeah. call -out. Yeah, I have to change yeah, that. Let me do that for you. I, good, good morning. Listen, I, I actually want to start off the show by saying this is simply information. It's not a consultation. OK, right. um, the reason I mentioned that is I actually spoke with someone who had um, posed a question on uh, on the air about a motion to reopen. I ended up having a 45 minute conversation with that person, you know, um, thereafter, not on the air, because there's a lot of questions I have to ask before I give an opinion. You know, a lot of the questions I'm asked are not a black and white answer. I'd be committing malpractice if I just simply said, yes, it's not a blanket rule. There's, you know, that case, there was a lot of facts that were previously not shared, you know, for obvious reasons. People obviously want to maintain their privacy, but there was a lot more going on. That's why sometimes I may be reluctant or sometimes you know, I, I seem like I, it's not, I can't answer the question is I need more facts. And those facts I can't ask in a, a five or three minute segment. So I just want to put that out there. You know, it's not unlike a doctor. You know, if you call, if you go to your doctor, you call your doctor to doctor, my stomach hurts. A uh, doctor is not going to be able to prescribe a medication just by getting that simple information. He's going to ask a lot more questions. How long have you had that situation? Have you had it before? Does anybody in the family have the same uh, symptoms? There are always, there's always more information that is required in order to answer especially complicated situations. So that is something to keep in mind. I, I, I hear you, Nelson. Okay. All right, gentlemen, once again, I want to say thank you so much for being here. It's a few minutes before the top of the hour. We must remind you, ladies and gentlemen, we're right smack in the show called Cruising with the Case Handler, um, Adam Handler. And of course, his colleagues, Conrad Pollock and Nelson Madrid, we're here talking on personal injury and immigration law. If you have questions, feel free to dial the number 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. And just to follow up with what Maverick said, Nelson Madrid, um, this is not legal advice that you're actually getting on air. It's information. Um, what you need to do is dial the number 844-774-3529 to get a one-on-one -on -one private and confidential consultation. And then you can ask him all the questions you need to ask. Now, of course, you know, I, I know some of my friends, you feel that you should spend two, three hours or 45 minutes with the attorneys. But remember, they do have tons of calls. So what you should actually do, uh, once you get enough information, retain them, use them, all right? I vouch for them. So make sure you do that, 844-774-3529. Please, again, I'm sorry. Maybe, yeah. And just to add to that, you know, mm -hmm. something I typically recommend of all clients, anytime mm -hmm. you speak or meet with a lawyer, you should really have your questions written down. Um, because what then happens is a, a lot of times when you're in front of the lawyer, you're on the phone with the lawyer, you forget. Um, other times you may want follow-up or there may be follow-up questions. If you write all of the questions you have, 
the lawyer can answer all those questions in one shot. You know, so it's just, it, it, the process is a lot easier, a lot smoother, I should say. Okay, gotcha. And, um, you know, I, I noticed um, Nelson got his, his shave today and it's, you know, just, <laughs> it's, it's like getting a shave, he's got more energy today. I, do you notice that, Adam? Is it me? Or, <laughs> you know? You know it's more aerodynamic. Energy. And when you're more aerodynamic, you lock in in your target like Maverick does and, and go for the kill. Uh, hey. Conrad, you wanted to mention something today. You had sent me um, an article on uh, on that a uh, that proclamation flyer. You want to go through that for a little bit? I just did, no, uh, Adam. Sorry. Oh no, I was going to share it. I meant like uh, the interactive <laughs> version of it. But uh, uh, it'd be okay. great. It would be great if you could post it because it it, it lists pretty much everything I was just saying. Yeah. Obviously, there there are, there's more detail uh, than I'm able to give over the air, uh, but. The main points I think I covered in terms of citizens still being able to apply for their spouses and their minor children, permanent, <clears throat> permanent residents cannot uh, sponsor their, their, or they can do their cases, they just can't complete the cases for the next 60 days. Um, those are the general rules. I mean, asylum applicants are still eligible to apply, um, various other uh, medical personnel, healthcare workers are still able to come in. The only restrictions, again, or if you have a green card and you're applying for your family members, those are the, the, the people that um, are going to have to wait the 60 days. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to post this information um, on our social media platforms and on the website. And Ruthie will help me do this as well. And everybody out there that can safely do so, so check us out. You know, you're listening to us on the radio. Uh, maybe you don't know that we're also streaming live and video on Facebook. So if you can safely do so right now. Um, either from your couch or wherever you're traveling from. Uh, you know, check out the case handler on Facebook and Instagram. Check out Polk, Polk, Isaac, and DeSico on Instagram and Facebook. Check out Squeeze if you want on Facebook and Instagram. That links over to us. Uh, and then we've got unbelievable resources. Uh, our website is, is amazing. I'm super proud of it. We provide uh, a ton of information, updates on immigration, updates on personal injury. We post true life success stories. Uh, and if you can't remember any of this stuff, you know, use that good old fashioned tool, Google, uh, and just Google uh, PPID or Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico or the case handler. And that's an easy way to get, you know, to get in touch with us. I get every, at the end of every month, uh, Google sends us the, the statistics uh, of how many people Googled us and how many people searched our phone number and how many clicked on our website. And it's growing and growing, growing uh, every month, which means that the word is out as to our firm and our practice and the amazing things we do for our clients um, when they trust us with their case. And the phone calls have been flooding in with those immigration consultations. Um, we've been busy all week fielding the calls, uh, trying to give the best possible responses we have to the clients. And I understand these days, you know, people are out of work or maybe there's nothing actually happening with immigration right now. So it may seem, you know, not in your mind, not the right time to be hiring a lawyer, but I would certainly disagree, and I'm sure everybody in this panel would agree with me in saying now is the time in which you want to start setting things up, getting your ducks in a row, making sure that you're ready to play on the offensive when everything starts to you know, thaw out and, and it's go time again. Because if you want to be on the back of the line, you're going to wait. If you want to be in the front of the line, you reserve your spot now. And you reserve your spot now by calling our law firm, speaking to the attorneys, uh, and becoming uh, a PPID client, uh, ready, ready to go uh, as soon as that shotgun starts. And you know, along those lines, Adam, if I can interrupt for a second. Of course, uh, absolutely. Because, because of the, the, the situation, uh, everybody's working from home, we do have more time to deal with things that we haven't uh, in, in normal times. Uh, and everybody has mentioned Ruthie here during the week, and she's our superstar marketing uh, director at the firm. That she is. What, what we've been doing uh, when we're not on the air, when we're not working with our clients, uh, we're writing articles. We are uh, filming videos. If you go to our website at ppid.com or the case handler, uh, you'll see there's a whole list of videos there and YouTube uh, videos that are on YouTube and articles and links to important information regarding whether it's immigration, where the courts, uh, personal injury, uh, real estate matters. If you go to our website at ppid.com, you'll see all the things that we're doing uh, to, that, that you know, 
can provide you with whatever type of legal information you're looking for. In particular, we are doing as many videos now on particular immigration topics as possible as we possibly can. We're adding to our directory at pretty much every day now. Uh, so I would suggest if you have a particular question, we might have a video there either posted by Nelson or, or, or one of our other associates that answers your question in detail. And if you have further questions or you miss something, you can just press the rewind button and hear it again. So there we go. Uh, Monday, just before we get to the top of the hour, uh, Monday, let everybody know uh, who we're bringing on and, and the topics. Uh, I think one of our associates, to... our, our right. expert, our, our resident uh, uh, associate who handles our O visas and P visas, uh, she will be coming on the show as a guest on Monday and she'll be talking uh, about O visas, P visas. So all you entertainers out there, all you persons with specialty occupations that might be eligible for that type of visa, or maybe you've had that type of visa and looking to extend it uh, or change to that type of visa, that will be your time to ask your questions because she she knows her stuff. So I certainly uh, suggest you tune in at that time. Very, very important. And uh, I will definitely push that out in social media to that community. Also quickly, see if, let's see if you can answer this question before we get to the top of the hour and then I'll give out the number. Um, Donna wants to know, she says, I'm about to file the I-130 for my adult daughter who is unmarried and lives in another country. Is there any other form I need to file along with the I-130? That's the one. Just the one? That's the form. Right. That, 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 that was very just simple be, to the point. Just be ready, you know, she's been waiting a good 10 years or so, so just hope she's patient. Absolutely. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get to the top of the hour, I just want to remind you, we are continuing the show ladies and gentlemen, after we get off of 93.5 FM. So if you have your immigration questions, I see them coming in, you know, make sure that you actually just turn over, switch over to Facebook. My Facebook page is David Squeeze Anarchy, or you can switch over to the Case Handler page or PPID's page, and we will continue to show there. We can answer your question. We're going to be talking some more on personal injury and yes, immigration. Um, right now, before we get to the top of the hour, I want every one of you, I need a check-in, okay? I need a check-in right now. I need for you to check in and say, I don't want you to check in and say, you know, you are in Brooklyn or Queens. I want you to check in and give Adam, okay, when you check in with him, say what country you're representing, all right, as an immigrant. So I'm going to start a check-in by saying, Yad Maseh, Jamaica Maseh, all right? So you got to check in with Adam right now, dial the number and say, Whatever country you're from, if it's Haiti, you got to say, Adam, I store the number, Haiti, all right? The number is 844-774-3529. Check in with Adam, 844-774-3529. That way he knows you're storing the number. If you ever need an attorney, you just need one firm, ladies and gentlemen, and one number, 844-774-3529. You need a criminal defense attorney? 844-774-3529. You need an immigration attorney? 844-774-3529. Personal injury, obviously, you know that. 844-774-3529. So check in with Adam Handler right now, dial the number and rep your country, rep where you're from, and tell us also what you think of the show. We want to know. You want us to add something to it? Uh, whatever, you tell me. The number here, 844-774-3529. Three five two nine. That's eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Catch up with the repeat later on at around five p.m. Don't forget, you can also tune in tomorrow at seven p.m. right here on ninety three point five, and on Sunday at twelve noon. We're going to continue now on Facebook at David Squeeze Anarchy or the Case Handler or PPID. Have a great Thank weekend, you, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. All right, let's switch over to Facebook right now. All right, let's continue this, gentlemen, and thanks. There we go. All right. So let's continue the show right here, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I want to say thanks to each and every one out there who is actually sharing the page. Very, very, very important that people share the page. And also, Adam, we missed our IG show yesterday. So, you know, we got, we have to do our IG show today. Oh, we're, 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 we're doing it today. I told you, 4.30, cruising with the case and we'll be back. I will be in my car picking up dinner. What could be more exciting than that? Picking up dinner. Wow. Yeah. You know, you know, there's this thing called Uber Eats, right? You want, I don't want anybody. Listen, I'm, <laughs> I've been self containing for six weeks. I'll touch my own food. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Not a problem. All right, gentlemen, let's just jump right into it here. 
Someone um, here says, does an immigration officer have the right to go in um, in one's phones to see if, if him and his wife was living apart? Well, yours is. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know, um, immigration under this administration has become, I say, a, a little stricter, or I should just say stricter. Um, I, I had this conversation with someone who called recently. Um, they can actually go on your social media. They can go through your phone. Um, you know, I was, I represented a couple uh, at an interview and literally uh, it was very interesting to say the least. They pulled out posts that the wife had made on Facebook, basically flirting with another man and her profile showed she was single when she was applying for a marriage based adjustment. Um, it's fair game, right? It's public domain. I mean, the, the Facebook, the Instagram, social media is out there. Um, the phone, that's a little intrusive. You know, you don't necessarily have to give him your phone. Um, but again, this is part of the problem. Part of the problem is when you go by yourself, you don't know your rights, right? You're basically at the mercy of the officer. You feel obligated to give him your phone. If you were with an attorney, the attorney would say, absolutely not. Please call your supervisor, right? And all of a sudden it would stop. But when you go by yourself, this is the risk you run. Got you. Well said. Well put, Maverick. Um, once again, folks, the number is 844-774-3529. You need that immigration attorney. You need Nelson. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 844-774-3529. Place your questions here on Facebook. Let's get to another question here on Facebook. Um, it's pronounced Johnny, I think. Okay. How do I go about obtaining an EB3 visa? And how can I overcome the burden of demonstrating that the applicant will be performing work for which qualified workers are not available in the United States. I don't know, I guess it sounds like a Conrad. EB, EB3 refers to employment-based. Um, so that person uh, will need an employer to offer her a position um, and by which uh, within typically a year and a half to two years, that person can get a green card. Um, now, if that person is outside the United States currently, they are subject to the ban. I'm assuming that person is in the United States, therefore she won't be subject to the ban. Um, in order to process an application like that, it's referred to as PERM. Um, so depending on what the job is, uh, let's assume she's being offered a job as a, a cook in a restaurant. Uh, an employer would file an app, a series of applications registering online with the Department of Labor. They have to run advertisements in a the newspaper. They have to demonstrate that they've tried to advertise and locate American workers to do the job. Uh, once they're able to demonstrate that they went through the efforts to locate a U.S. worker, couldn't find the worker to, to, to satisfy their uh, work requirements and hire someone, then they can offer the job to that applicant. Uh, long story short, they, the application is approved by the Labor Department. The employer files a visa petition with the Immigration Service, and eventually that person gets an interview and gets her green card. It requires an employer to sponsor you. You cannot do this yourself. There are it always takes two to, to process an application of that nature. In fact, the vast majority of applications when you're dealing with the immigration service require two parties, whether it's a spouse applying for a child or a parent applying for a, a child um, or an employer apply, applying for a prospective employee, there always has to be two involved. So that's not something you're gonna be able to do yourself. It's also, I strongly suggest you hire an attorney, yours truly preferably, uh, to handle that type of work, because that is not something that applicants can typically do on their own. Okay. Once again, folks, um, you just heard Conrad Pollock, the immigration attorney and managing partner at the firm Pollock Pollock, Isaac and Lesequel, answering that question on the EB3 um, visa. Okay. So the number to call directly, get that consultation, happens to be 844 774 3529. That's 844 774 3529. That's 844-774-3529. And before we switch it over to um, Adam and speak on personal injury, I just want to add to, to, to that, um, Conrad. So the kind of visas that nannies and caretakers would get, is that an EB3? That's EB3. That is EB3. Exactly. Um, gotcha. Again, um, the process right now in normal times takes a year and a half to two years. Uh, but mm -hmm. it, is a, it is a generally three-step process. 
employer has to file with the labor department after they, and, and be able to demonstrate they tried to locate U.S. workers first, right? So typically there have to be some sort of um, requirements that the person needs to fill, for instance, um, has to have two years of experience doing that type of job uh, prior to being uh, employed by that company. Uh, the, employ the application is then approved by the Labor Department. Again, that's called a PERM. Um, then a visa petition gets filed with the Immigration Service. And among other things, the employer is required to submit a tax return for the company, showing that they can afford to pay whatever salary they're required to pay. And once the visa petition is approved by immigration, uh, then an interview is scheduled either here in the U.S. or outside the country, depending on the person's status. Three-step process, year and a half to two years to get it done. And again, that is not something that an applicant that would be able to do on their own. They need an employer to sponsor them. And they strong, I, again, I strongly suggest that they have a lawyer handling that process because that is not something a, a typical individual can handle themselves. Gotcha. Um, now is a quick one before I speak to um, the case handler on personal injury someone wants to know if they are being filed for already and they're out of the country right now they are being filed for if they can still go to the embassy and apply for a visitor's visa you can but now it becomes a question of intent you know um and again we we spoke about this previously you know the officer conducting the interview has broad discretion so if someone filed for you, he can interpret that as you're going with the intentions to remain in the United States because you just don't wanna be home waiting for the visa. You prefer to be in the United States waiting for the visa. Um, again, applying is not an issue, but they're gonna take that into consideration when they make a decision on whether or not to give you the visitor visa. As I've said okay. before, immigration law, Every person coming to the United States is presumed to be an immigrant. It is up to the applicant to demonstrate that they're not an intending immigrant, that they're just coming temporarily, whether to visit or to study or to work, depending on what type of visa that person is applying for or what type of visa they have. So if you have an application pending for a green card already, uh, let's say your sister applied for you 10 years ago and it's, and it's still taking another five years, and you're getting impatient, you wanna to come to visit your sister or your family in the US for a wedding that's taking place this summer. You can go and apply for that tourist visa. However, the consular officer is going to see that you've applied for your green card already. You're gonna be trying to convince them, no, I'm just coming temporarily and I'm gonna leave. It's not an easy thing to do. The law presumes that you're an intending immigrant. And in a situation like that, having an application already pending for you to become an immigrant is a pretty hard uh, obstacle to overcome. Got you. Once again, folks, you heard that uh, segment there on immigration. Our immigration attorneys, obviously today, Conrad Pollock, that you just heard last lady there, and Nelson Madrid, okay, the Maverick. Want to say thanks for giving us that um, immigration feedback and answers. Everyone that's watching this, you need to dial one number now. Once again, folks, if you need help, regardless of where you are in the world, the firm can help you as long as it has to do with U.S. immigration. We primarily focus on the tri-state area, but they can actually help you. If you need a one-on-one -on -one free consultation with the attorney, you can actually dial now this number, 844-774-3529. That's toll free from anywhere in North America, 844-774-3529. You are calling, in my opinion, solid, good attorneys. So make sure you reach out to them, 844-774-3529. The firm has been around for well over 50 years. Ladies and gentlemen, they've got immigration information running through their veins. So make sure you link them up. 844-774-3529. Let's flip it over to another part of the firm, okay, that I'm extremely proud of also, and that is on personal injury. When we get hurt in an accident, what do we do? Who do we call? What should we do? And this is the part that I want to talk about with my attorney, the case handler, Adam Handler. When you get hurt in an accident, what are the steps? What are the things you should do? God forbid you are still uh, conscious. What should we do, Adam Handler, as we well, speak on the, personal the first, injury? The first thing, you know, I recommend obviously is you know call a first responder, whether it's nine one one or uh, or flag somebody down uh, on the side of the road. You know, those police officers, you know, usually walk in the beat. Um, and, and report something. And this next case we'll talk about was something similar to that. Um, you know, you want it, 
first of all, you need help. You need emergency help. So that's your best way of getting that immediate help. So uh, emergency first. They'll connect you to uh, emergency medical services if, God forbid, you're injured. Um, there are situations, though, in which you know maybe the injuries aren't uh, so life-threatening immediately. And what I would say to you, if possible, is start taking pictures. If it's a car accident, get some photographs of the damage to the vehicle. If it's a slip or trip and fall, you know, take pictures uh, of what's in the, the, the street or the sidewalk that caused your injury. Or if it's at, at work and you're, you're able to do so, or maybe you can ask um, a, a coworker of yours to take photographs. I mean, the, the, the cases in which we've received some of the biggest money for our clients are the cases in which the evidence has been so strong. And photographs, videos, witness statements, those are all things that are evidence in the case. And those are all things that help you uh, you know, prosecute your cause of action against a tort visa. So we, we, we love to get that kind of stuff, but you know, it's not always possible. Sometimes the injuries are life-threatening, uh, but usually, uh, you know, these days a bystander is taking photographs. It's amazing what we can get, you know, street cameras. Uh, uh, we've gotten uh, surveillance from the ring doorbell before. And then I suggest obviously wow. giving us a ring, uh, giving us a call. Uh, because we'll be able to tell you within you know minutes or hours of the accident happening uh, what we need to do to be successful for you. So it all is about getting off to the right start right away, and that's having our number saved and, and giving our, our giving us a call. Um, I, we had a, a, a case years ago, and I'm just going through our our, our database of, of of successful results, and uh, you're giving me some uh, you're giving me the, the keys to drive, brother. Um, oh, you got the key. You got it already. I give. I, give I it love this case. Um, this is uh, Linda. You know, look, look at baby face case handle right there. I was younger yeah. and yeah. heavier. Um, and uh, we got an unbelievable result for $385,000 uh, for a, a trip and fall against the city of New York. And, and why did we win? Why were we successful? Well, she had a, an ankle tear that required a surgery, but we also had great evidence, as I was saying before. It's all about what you can prove and, and how you can prove it. And with respect to the city, you have to be able to prove that the city had prior written notice of an issue. And what was happening is that it was not as light as it was in these photographs. These photographs were taken when there was um, artificial lighting and also during the day, but there was a sinkhole uh, in the street and she was walking across the street. She couldn't see the sinkhole. Uh, she rolled her ankle and she went down. Now, it turns out that the city and Con Ed knew about this problem. This is a reoccurring problem from moisture that this, this particular area, which was near um, a, uh, a steam pipe, uh, kept caving in and they fixed it and they went back and fixed it again. And finally, somebody said, if, if you don't fix this the right way, you know, somebody could crack their head open. And, and sure enough, what happened about a week after that assessment was made, uh, Linda got hurt. And uh, I, I, love, I love these quotes. You know I don't like reading them, Squeeze. So if you wouldn't mind, uh, you know, giving, giving that a, a read real quick. Absolutely. All right. So uh, Linda, hold on, hold on. Which part? Oh, oh, take home the highlight, man. Adam All is right. the perfect. Yeah, the, thank you so much. Adam is the perfect lawyer. He's not your typical attorney because Adam is caring and very attentive to clients. My legal team did a wonderful job and I give them a 20 out of a 10. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's twice as good <laughs> as, as the yeah. best possible result. Yeah, I, uh, 20 out of a so 10. So if you want wow. a lawyer that is rated 20 out of 10, you will save our number, 844-774-3529. That's 844-PPID-LAW. You know, it's not about the successful results. That's a good part of what we do, but it's the approach to the case and how we get it done for our clients. And as far as I'm concerned, if I can get this woman $385,000 from the city of New York and she can go and say he did it being caring and attentive uh, to my, me as a client, then I think that's the full package. Uh, and I think that's, you know, the best possible work we could have done. So super proud about that case. Wanted to share it. We have hundreds and hundreds of these cases that we can go through. Um, I don't think any of us have the time uh, of, uh, of day to, to, to go through everything, but we take one case at a time. We treat it like it's our most important case. And that's how we have 
a successful result. We can never guarantee hey. it, but nobody's going to fight harder from you for you than the case handler team at Paul Paul Gazzicico. Absolutely. Now, as people place their questions on Facebook for immigration, before we flip it back to immigration, uh, um, Conrad and, and, and Nelson, I think, you know, Adam is not working for the money, you know, he's working for those quotes. You see how he gets all, you know, flustered when he, those quotes are read. I think that he's just working for those quotes. No, so that goes to show he's extremely passionate about being a personal injury attorney, people. So as he said, and we push it every day, store the number, 844-774-3529, because you've got one choice, one chance to get the maximum compensation. The number is 844 774 3529. Now, Adam, before I flip it back to Maverick, Nelson Madrid, and Maestro Conrad Pollock, our immigration attorneys on cruising with a case handler, there is something that I need for you to put clarity on when it comes to personal injury, um, uh, when it comes to accidents and the city, and something that's called a statute of limitations. I need for you to expound more on that as to why people should act quickly with anything to do with the city. Go ahead. Well, it's not should. You have no choice. Whenever you have to file any case against the city, the state, or a municipality, uh, you must file a claim within 90 days, just like we had to do for Linda. Uh, normally speaking, in New York, you have three and a half, uh, sorry, three years um, to file a, a negligence claim, two and a half years for medical malpractice, uh, three years to file. But when you're involving the city, municipality of the state, your claim better be filed within 90 days. Otherwise, you will be permanently barred uh, for bringing your claim. The, the actual limitation, statute limitation for filing the actual lawsuit itself is a year and 90 days. But that claim must be 90 days because the city, state, and the municipality, they're dealing with a lot. There's a lot of cases. There's a lot of uh, exposure to them. And they want to have the ability uh, to be able to investigate the case right away, not two years later when most of the evidence was probably gone by then. So good reason uh, you know, on their part that, that they need notice timely. But an even better reason that you need your, uh, your case handler's number stored because we, we will need to snap into action almost immediately if you've ever fell on, uh, on the street, or if you ever tripped uh, on the sidewalk, or maybe you're a result of medical malpractice at a city hospital. We had that situation recently in which somebody was at an HHC hospital, uh, terrible, terrible uh, medical treatment received, and that uh, medical malpractice claim had to be filed within 90 days. So it all starts with saving the phone number. Let us take care of everything. If God forbid you're in an accident, call us right away. We'll deal with it on your behalf. Absolutely. Cruising with a case handler, ladies and gentlemen, David Adeke with attorneys. Respectively, you just heard Adam Handler, the case handler. You heard from Conrad Pollock, the maestro, Nelson Madrid, of course, the maverick. And let's go back to uh, immigration now. And let's uh, just uh, scroll up to this question right here. All right. Uh, it says here, and by the way, let me just do some shouts here. I got to say uh, welcome to Winston Adeke for joining us. Samoya Cordio for joining us. Um, welcome to... Um, uh, Janoy for joining us. Tracy has joined us. Charmaine Miller has joined us. So we got to say thanks to all of them for joining us. Um, Onita, who is always here, part of uh, Team Squeeze, meaning that people who always check in whenever I'm on Facebook. Nicole Spontaneous Gordon, thank you so much for checking in. I'm making shouts, and I'm, I'm going to be making shouts for people when they join it. Now, here's a question for the immigration attorneys. Maxine wants to know, if someone's 10-year green card is expired, how does that affect their immigration status? It doesn't affect it. Um, the green card itself is valid for 10 years. Um, it's no different than a driver's license. Uh, you go and apply for a driver's license, it expires, you go and get a new one. Um, green card, it's basically the same thing, a little more complicated, but basically the same thing. Your card is, gonna, is about to expire or it's expired, you need to submit an application to the immigration service, pay the fee, um, and eventually you get a new card. Now. Uh, when you make that application, the Immigration Service will uh, have you come down to get fingerprints taken. They will check your record. They will check to see if you've committed any crimes since you got your green card or previously. Um, and, and what if you have? What if you if have that, committed a crime? Well, it depends, it depends on the type of crime. It depends on the severity of the crime. If it's a serious crime, if you, a after you got your green card, uh, you were convicted of, uh, I don't know, drug, drug dealing. Uh, and immigration. Yeah. And it, or, or gun, or let's say whatever serious crime. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if that happens subsequent to obtaining a green card, 
Um, and, per, and somehow the Immigration Service missed it at that time, uh, which these days doesn't happen as often as they used to. Um, when you go to obtain your new green card, you could have an issue. They could place you into removal proceedings and you might not get that card back. So if that is a situation that uh, you're facing, um, you need legal advice. Typically, in a situation like that, or even if somebody's applying for citizenship with this, in a similar circumstance, um, we always, uh, when we're faced with that situation, we always do our research. We look to see uh, what the person was convicted of. We look for, to see the criminal dispositions. We review them in accordance with what the immigration law or how the immigration law treats that type of offense. And um, then we will typically advise the person whether it's safe to proceed or not. Uh, it can be a difficult situation to get out of. So again, it's a situation that definitely requires legal advice. Gotcha. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Squeeze. Just to just to follow up mm -hmm. and add something to what Conrad said, traveling mm -hmm. and returning may be an issue with an expired green card. I've also had clients, many clients, who have the old green card with no expiration date. Most right. of those people get put into secondary inspection. Okay, when they're returning from a trip abroad. You want to be careful, right? The, the room, the room, right? The room. Right. The room. So you want to you want to be very careful, you know. And again, I think we've spoken about this previously. You might travel two or three times and not have a problem, but you come back, you get the wrong officer. Now you got a problem. So and, you know, there are there was a time when green cards did not expire. Yes, yeah. I go back that far. Um, yeah, I I had I, one of those. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. But back in the day. Uh, green, green cards did not expire. I believe uh, immigration attached an expiration date back in, it might have been 1990 when the laws changed, I think. But prior to that, green cards did not expire. So it, it basically was a way, at the time at least, it was a way for the immigration service to get revenue from people to get them to file their application, similar to a driver's license. But now it's become a lot more, more than that. But anyway, uh, definitely a situation if you're, tra if you're traveling and you have issues, uh, and that haven't been picked up by the service previously, definitely something to be to, to consider. And what otherwise might seem like just a simple process, submitting an application to the immigration service, paying the fee, and you're done with it. If you have issues, whether whether they occurred prior to getting your green card or after, you need a lawyer, all right? Because that is a dangerous proposition, if not. Absolutely, very, very, very important. And you know, you know, ladies and gentlemen, the more I do this show, the more I enjoy it. And you know, I, I want for everyone out there, please share this. I mean, I am very impressed with the growth of the show um, since Adam and I started it um, earlier this year. And I want for everyone who is watching this, please share, 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 share. We're going to be doing some boosting and so forth. Want to thank each and every one um, for watching. But remember, cruising with the case handler is about personal injury and immigration. However, keep in mind that, of course, it is with a full service law firm, Paula Pollock, Isaac and DeSico, meaning that yes, personal injury, yes, immigration, but there's also criminal defense. There happens to be real estate, matrimonial and more. And each department have, you know, departments within, for example, with immigration, we've got someone coming on on Monday that's gonna be discussing O visas and P visas and, their, and, and all of those visas. So make sure you spread the word. I'm gonna be reaching out to my entertainer friends and social media platform followers and you know and everyone and letting them know so this is going to continue to grow but we need for you to help us grow we need for you to help others by you sharing the page and more importantly giving them this number yeah, um, to dial and store and god forbid they need an attorney in any capacity they just need to reach out to 844-774-3529 that's 844-774 Three five two nine. That's eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. For the people who stay on and watch us consistently, I always call them. You know, Team Squeeze from way back when. I want to thank you so much also for sharing. All right, eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Gentlemen, before I go, as usual, I will let you all have the um, a word. I don't like to say last word. So mm -hmm. Nelson, I'll start with you. What do you have to say, sir? Well, we once again, thank you for having us on. Thank you to the listeners for tuning in. Um, it is Friday. Maybe that's why I have a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish everyone a happy and safe weekend.
Take care, everyone. Okay. okay, thanks. That's Nelson Madrid, the Maverick. Conrad. It's been an interesting week, uh, for sure. Um, this is our sixth show, and hopefully uh, uh, we're improving every day, and, and that improvement is apparent, I'm hoping. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, a, a typical week, you know, news, developments, things changing. Unfortunately, it seems the news, uh, as far as immigration is concerned, under this administration, the news always seems to be negative. Uh, but as I always, uh, uh, as my parents told me, and as I tell my kids, it's always darkest before the dawn. Um, hopefully, uh, uh, things will change at the end of the year. We'll have a new administration and uh, things will lighten up and uh, we'll have an administration leading our country that actually appreciates the immigrant, immigrant community. They actually recognize various things that they bring to the table uh, and how they help this country as opposed to uh, demonizing them like the current president does. So uh, on that positive note, I will say everybody have a nice weekend. There you go. And one thing I must add, uh, Conrad, um, in reference to your immigration department at the firm is that you guys are very surgical. And I like that. I'm, I am seeing that. I like that. And the listeners and viewers, I'm quite sure they like that also. And when I say surgical, I see where, you know, Nelson Madrid, the, the Maverick, is, is very big on uh, removal and deportation. You know, you're very big on family. And now you've got someone coming in who is very big on the entertainment, you know, the P3s and the, and the O visas. I like that. It says a lot about the firm. It says a lot about what it is that you guys have accomplished over the past 50 years. I really appreciate that. So thanks it, again. Immigration in general, I mean, immigration law, I, I've been doing this for my entire life, as, as we've alluded to several times today and over, over the past week. Um, there are so many different aspects of immigration law. Now, again, me having done it as long as I have, I'm pretty familiar with most of it. But, you know, whether it's an O visa or a P visa or an E2 visa, somebody asked about yesterday, investor visa, EB5s, where people want to invest and, and create a business and get green cards that way, or you get picked up uh, and, and you put into removal proceedings or your green cards expiring, or, you know, there are myriad types of situations. And it's just, it's impossible for uh, the average person, the average lawyer, to just be, be an expert on every particular area. That's why we try to, as you mentioned, surgically divide up the responsibilities at our firm. So among our various attorneys, we have people that know their stuff in, inside out in their particular areas. So yes, if you have a question that uh, pretty much about anything in immigration, we've got the person that can answer your questions. Absolutely, very happy about that. And over the next few months, once thing gets, things get back on track, you'll see my referrals where my model friends are concerned and my entertainer friends are concerned. Send them to me. About that. Send the yeah, models Adam, to me. Adam Hanley has hung out with the Marleys <laughs> and all of that stuff. He knows what I'm talking about. All right. So uh, speaking of Adam, okay, perfect segue. Uh, you remember that time, Adam, we hung out with uh, Kimani Marley over at SOB? I remember. I mean, we have I have too. like foggy memories but yes uh that was uh an incredible moment and uh something i'll never forget uh i remember sitting there uh drinking some hennessy and saying to the guy so bob marley's your dad and he's like, hey, yaman it was uh, it was an incredible night i'll never forget that night uh yep so thanks for having me on thanks for having the team on uh we're really trying to give back to the community that's embraced us by giving you uh, reliable answers to your legal questions. And of course, those free consultations for immigration questions, um, if you have them. So it all starts with a phone call, 844-774-3529, 844-PPIDlaw.com. Whether it's personal injury or uh, immigration, we won't be calling you. You got to call us. And if you do, I know you'll be happy you did. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Um, bless up, respect, and uh, we'll see you on Monday. Can't wait. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here and doing what it is that you have done um, today. I really appreciate it. And uh, we want to remind everyone, check out the reruns of the show um, tomorrow at 7 p.m. on 93.5 FM. You never know, I might even drag Adam on. And also, of course, on Sunday at noontime. Thanks again. And of course, we must remind you that this has been a 
an, an attorney advertisement brought to you by the law firm of Paula Pollock, Isaac, and Seco. Prior results do not guarantee similar outcome, but as I, David Squeeze, Adam, you always say, you know, I've been waiting for this. I've been fighting for this. And it has happened where I have one law firm that I can recommend to my people, to our people, to the immigrant community, because I'm one of those guys. I do not like getting on the radio and talking out of two sides of my face. I feel like I'm an ass. You know, when I'm saying, okay, fine, go here and then go there. I, I mean, for me personally, it really bothers me. So I'm very happy that I have one law firm. I have good attorneys, you know, great attorneys, phenomenal attorneys who have demonstrated their, their, their experience, their testimonies and so forth. So I fully endorse what it is that's happening here. I fully endorse these attorneys. And I'm saying to everyone, just store the number when you need it, use it. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. And just don't call them for a consultation. It's extremely important that you retain them. A lot of us are saying, yeah, we get a consultation. We now know what to do. No, if I need a heart surgery, do you all freaking think that I'm going to go operate on my own heart? No, I'm not going to do it, okay? Um, if I need um, a... a, a almost say carburetor. They don't have that. If I need, Maybe <laughs> if you I got need to fix car. something, <laughs> almost a carburetor. You see how far I'm going back? If I need to do something with my car, do you think I'm going out and pulling down the engine? I probably can go and Google and, and, and look it up, but I know I'm going to screw it up. No, I'm going to call the mechanic. So here's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Why do you think they have immigration attorneys? Why do you think we have a personal injury attorney? You need attorneys. Do the right thing. Believe it or not, it will cost you less and you'll understand what I'm saying. I've seen people screw up things by trying to do it themselves. And you've got all these um, entities that will try to tell you that you can do it yourself. They literally want you to screw it up, ladies and gentlemen. And then you get put in deportation, some of you, some cases. And, you know, then it gets tougher for Nelson to help you, you know, for Conrad to help you. And with personal injury, you know, um, with that, stop listening to your mom and dad say, yeah, well, you know, Johnny is a lawyer. You know, why don't you go with Johnny? Johnny can help you. You know, he's a lawyer. No, it's not like that. You got lawyers for different areas, you know, or go with your friend. You know, I, I know um, Tom down the road, you know, you got this guy $5,000, you know, you know, why don't you go with him? No, you're listening to a solid show. You're listening to a man who has settled millions of dollars for people. You're listening to a man who has worked with the community. What, what else do you want? <laughs> you know, it's right there. You know, so once again, we'll bring it to the water, but I can't force you to drink it. With that said, I conclude. Thank you all so much for watching. Okay, remember the number, whenever you need any kind of legal help, it's 844-PPID-LAW. That's 844-PPID-LAW, 844-774-3529. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch up with you again very soon.